What's up guys, Ninth Jim here bringing another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2020 competitive video. Today we're going to be talking about Cinderace, the fire starter of this gen. It's a really cool Pokemon, honestly. He looks really sweet. Mono fire, which they did with all of the starters this gen, just made them mono their type, uh, which is fine. Um, not the best for just like... It, it has its pros and cons, essentially. It doesn't have as many uh, super effective attacks uh, for stab it doesn't have as much stab it doesn't have as much coverage but it does have only its base set of weaknesses which is you know like ground and water so it's really not that bad and it's pretty fast and really strong so that's pretty cool this Pokemon's really good we'll take a look at its stats here in a second I wanted to highlight its abilities first off so first off we have blaze and libero but unfortunately we don't have access to Libero yet, although that is what makes this Pokemon insane. I was gonna wait until we got Libero, but I wanted to make a video on this guy because it topped. It was in the, I believe, sixth place um, team two, two or three weeks ago from the Galar Weekly. Uh, somebody used it and it was pretty cool. And I like this Pokemon a lot. His design is really cool. It's a really good Pokemon, honestly. And Blaze, it's not, it's not the worst, you know, ability being uh when it goes down to a third or less of its maximum health it's all of its fire types attacks are increased by 50 which is good because we get a really good signature move here it's just flare blitz without recoil so that that's like crazy on its own but libero is crazy if you ever remember greninja excuse me if you remembered greninja from vgc 2019 and beyond in and, and before beyond um it's an amazing ability. It's uh, very similar to Protein. It just changes the Pokemon's type to whatever it's about to use. So it's really good for a bunch of reasons. First off, it can protect you from super effective attacks, which is crazy. And it also makes whatever attack you're about to use stab, which is 1.5 times your attack. So that's crazy. It's such an uh, insane ability. One of the best abilities um, on a like fast, powerful Pokemon. It's so cool. And we don't have it yet, unfortunately. I'm still going to talk about it a little bit because I really like the ability and I love that they gave it to another starter. But it's pretty unfortunate we don't have access to it yet as it's the hidden ability. We don't have it yet. But we'll get, uh, eventually we'll get like a shiny starter event or something that gives us the a bit, the hidden abilities. And actually the grass starter Rillaboom has an amazing hidden ability too. And we'll talk about that in a Rillaboom video one day. Um, I'm not too worried about making a video yet for Rillaboom, however, it's going to come because it gets Grassy Surge as its hidden ability, so that's crazy. But Libero is crazy, but Blaze is the main focus of today's video as that's what we have right now. You're not able to use hidden ability Libero for this Pokemon yet, but we'll talk about this a little bit here. We'll start with its stats. Speed 119. It's super fast. It's really good. It's 188 on its speed um, with max investment and positive uh, nature for speed so that's really good gotta drink some water boys uh, anyway uh, attack 116 also very strong uh, very very good stat for attack not good special attack stat 65 obviously it makes sense if you have 116 attack stat you're not gonna have a very high special attack stat that's just how it works 80 HP 75 defense and 75 special defense so all around pretty balanced on um, the bulk nature it's not very good but it's not the worst and attack and speed are the highlights at 116 and 119 respectively so that's really powerful and really fast for this Pokemon um, so that's really cool so first off we'll talk about a couple of these first off being pyro ball which is a crazy attack so this is flare blitz essentially it's 120 90 accuracy but it doesn't have any recoil, which is crazy. And it also has a 10% chance to leave your target with a burn, which is, like, decent. Um, obviously not crazy. But 90 accuracy on 120 with no recoil is just crazy. It's also stab, not to mention. So this is just, like, an amazing attack. Pyro Ball will be on every set from here on out because this Pokemon's attack signature attack is so good. Um, then we have some other stuff. We have Quick Attack, which is neat. Um, if you haven't seen, uh, there's, like, a video floating around. Um, by Wolfie that he used a trick and quick attack to stop uh, trick tricking an eject button and then quick attacking that Pokemon to activate it stopping any Dynamax it's such an interesting thing but this Pokemon has access to quick attack so it can be the user for that um, although it is really gimmicky <laughs> but it's so cool when it happens um, so quick attack is relevant uh, to that um, you want to look at mostly physical attacks here so like 
double kick and like flame charge aren't really big. Uh, bounce is interesting, especially when it gets Libero, making it a flying type Pokemon, potentially just shielding out from a lot of uh, types as well as double edge. Court change is a really interesting attack here. Um, we're not going to be using it in doubles as the um, hazards are not very popular in doubles, but in singles, this Pokemon is actually really good in singles because of court change. Court change just switches all um, hazards and effects. Um, it's like essentially a magic bounce, but like not, it doesn't have to be active when it, it happens. It's, it's kind of weird, but in VGC and doubles, we're not going to really worry about this very much, but in singles, it's really relevant. Um, and continuing down here, Mega Kick is cool, I guess. It's not great. Um, what else? Giga Impact is cool, not great. Sunny Day is interesting, but there's a lot better users for it. Obviously, Protect. We're going to say that every single time because everybody gets it. Helping Hand is cool. Um, I didn't know it got that. Bounce is good, like we were saying. U-Turn is, of course, of choice. Assurance isn't bad. Um, what else? Acrobatics isn't bad. Snarl is interesting, but we're probably not going to be using a Mixed Attacker because it's not that good. Flamethrower, like we said, is not good for Mixed Attackers. Uh, what else do we have here? Flare Blitz, but we have a better Flare Blitz. Uh, it does have 100 accuracy though, um, so you can give up. So Py you can pick this over Pyro Ball if you want the accuracy over the No Recoil. That's also an option. But we are playing Focus um, Focus Sash on our builds. Uh, mostly we also have other ones. Gunk Shot is cool here. Zen Headbutt and Iron Head, all really good moves for Libero. Um, all three of these are actually really good options for Libero. And Ally Switch is cool that it gets this. I didn't know it had that either. And Sucker Punch is really good. Sucker Punch will actually, now that I see it get Sucker Punch, I didn't know it did. It's an egg move. But we may actually put that on some of our builds here. That's definitely an option as well. It gets Blast Burn, which is cool, but not actually good. Um, and then all of our max attacks that we know it gets. So we'll just jump right into a couple of builds here. So the first one is with our ability Blaze, as that's all we have right now. But like I said, this Pokemon will get so insane if we get an event that gives us our hidden ability for starters. Um, Libero is just insane. So anyway, we're holding Focus Sash just so we can live the first attack. We're really fast and really strong, so we're going to just hit once and then hit twice, uh, potentially switch out with U-Turn. Pyro Ball is really powerful. High Jump Kick is also very powerful. Only Stab Move is Pyro Ball here on this set. But we also have U-Turn, which is good, and also Protect just so we can uh, hit and then Protect, and then hit, and then U-Turn potentially. So that's a really good way of using this Pokemon is being able to come in, attack, and then come out. Blaze, if it uh, would bla focus sash is cool for Blaze because you'll get hit, go down to Blaze, uh, go down to one HP with focus sash, and then Blaze will be able to activate for Pyro Ball for very strong stab, uh, enhanced power balls. That's a really good way of doing it. Uh, for our stats, investing into attack and speed is what we did here with just max both, uh, with our nature being plus speed minus special attack jolly, just so that we can. Uh, be faster and outspeed opposing Cinderaces. And like I said, hitting 188 for speed is actually really, really fast. Um, so that's really good to know for this Pokemon as well. It's a pretty basic set, honestly. Just Pyro Ball, High Jump Kit, U-Turn, Protect. You can always change this out for something else like Gunk Shot uh, is a good one. Iron Head, like we were saying. And um, Sucker Punch is also very good. Probably Sucker Punch is probably the best unless you need the uh, Fighting... High Jump Kick is just a very high power, kind of risky move because you'll take a lot of damage if you miss and that'll knock off your Focus Sash, so that's always something to keep in mind. So, although, Sucker Punch is actually very good. Um, being able to attack first uh, into things is really good against stuff like Dragapult. It's really good against um, other Pokemon like that. And then for our second one here, we don't actually have a different build as I like this set a lot with the Sucker Punch being the potential high jump kick whatever you need for your team but Cinderace also likes life orb being able to attack very hard hitting very fast you could also play something you could also play a choice item so something like choice scarf if you need to be faster but then you'll uh, have you'll be just very frail in general u-turn life orb u-turn is really powerful life orb sucker punch is very powerful so that's another option and then this also lets you use protect but although like I said this Pokemon is not very bulky so excuse me so it'll be a little dangerous to use something like life orb that's why i like the focus sash more uh anyway we're talking about libero here for a second as well pyro ball high jump kick u-turn it's all good attacks we can always change this out we can change the protect out we can change the high jump kick like i said gunk shot 
uh, is a great option as well. Sucker Punch is a great option. Iron Head is a, a great option. All of these are really good options for Libero. Um, and just the build in general now with Blaze is also good. But like I said, Focus Sash most likely. Focus Sash most likely for this as well. Greninja liked a lot of uh, Focus Sash or Life Orb or a Z Crystal uh, in the past. So using Focus Sash is the most optimal I believe and life orb is also a very optimal way of playing it as well since we don't have G crystal or Z crystals um, that's unfortunate but yeah that's about it honestly I don't really have much for great partners or great threats against this guy as it's mono fire it's just gonna be doing what it wants to do every game and that's really it so it's just gonna be fire if you need a fire a strong fire Pokemon with a couple of other good options um, other good coverage moves sucker punch and u-turn you can definitely just put this on most teams that need fire um, Honestly, this Pokemon is being very underused right now. Not very many people are using it. Like I said, it hit like fifth or sixth place uh, one of the weeks on the Galar Weekly. Um, but other than that, that's really all I've seen out of this Pokemon so far. And when we get Libero, it'll be an amazing threat. It'll be on. It'll be a lot of places, uh, unlike how it is now, where it's very niche and not very many people are playing it. But Blaze Focus Sash is pretty cool with the Pyro Ball. And like I said, you can make that flare list as well if you just want that 10 extra accuracy. I wouldn't blame you um, because accuracy, low accuracy is 90 and under is that I would consider that low um, as you would miss sometimes. So, yeah. Uh, overall, I guess that's really it for this guy. It's a really good uh, mono fire type. It's starter, so everybody likes him. And, yeah. That's about it. So thank you for watching. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and like and subscribe. And also go down into the comment section and comment any guy that you want to see in the future and future bit videos. Or if you want to see a team or whatever you want to see, go ahead and tell me. And also, I linked my Discord down below. I have, like, not very many people on it. Um, but I'm trying to get more more people into it, on, into the community. You can I'll be active so you can talk to me, um, suggest videos, suggest... Uh, ask for team help ask for battles. I'm always down to battle people I, I like battling a lot of the time trades I have a lot of guys that I can help you out with breed for a lot of Pokemon for competitive play So just like go down join the discord and talk to us. So thank you. Uh, thank you for watching